All right, Mrs. Sunku, it's time to finish unpacking. You're almost there. I'm hungry. I'm gonna have more of my snack. Mm. That's so good. Oh, that's sinful. All right, let's keep going. There we go. <laughs> Just let me marry. Just go get it. I can't. too much. Ah. ah! My daytime makeup kit. This is not even the tip of the iceberg. Travel kit one. Travel kit two. Travel kit three. Oh, my night scarf. I actually don't know what this is. My book of poetry. Oh, I wrote poems after every man I slept with dated and I broke up. After every man I dated and I broke up, I wrote a poem in this. I didn't sleep with them. Let's read it. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. I remember this. This was the man who I broke up with right before I met Sunku. Oh God. Even if someone knows the reason why we broke up, even if I apologize one more time, would it change things? If I apologize, things go back to normal. But if things go back to normal, how can I take advantage of you? Ah! Sunku can't see this if he sees how many men I slept with dated. How many men I dated before I got together with him. Oh, he'd be so mad. I have to hide this. I gotta, oh God, I gotta hide this. <sighs> How can I? What can I? Oh, I forgot about my pickle. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of this. Oh, God! Am I forgetting anything? Welcome to Morning Miss Mamma. Why would you hit me and then welcome them? All they ever see from you is abuse. Ow, and then you crush my toe. Welcome to Morning Miss Mamma Monday. You gotta be quick in this. Oh, I you thought know. you were taking it. No, you were gonna point. say, I'm Jim. And oh, I'm Jim. Well, you've already done the intro for us, so Stop. we don't need to anymore. <laughs> this week, we are going to be reviewing the B side to Morning Miss May's Daite Hold On Me. Mm. So first of all, I really actually like this song. This is surprising to me for a B-side, especially the B-side to Daite Hold On Me, which not one of my favorite A-sides. Tatuaiba is one of those B-sides that I have not really ever given a chance to listen to and enjoy because a lot of the early stuff I am not a huge fan of. Surprisingly though, this is a B this is a B-side that is good, and it's one of Sunku's better ones. And it surprises me, it's almost like he didn't write it at all, that it was somebody else that took the reins and he just attached some lines to it and we're like, hey, the girls can sing this, let's do it. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm gonna roll and make me pretty beautiful. Oh, hey. oh, I'm so used to being so rich and famous and relevant, walking in rooms and Ooh! people knowing who I am. What is this book? Hatoeba. I'm gonna pause this thing and watch it over there. Oh, Father, Lord Buddha, I know I said that I did not believe in you. And I know that I said some things to you last night. You've given me the gift of song. Emotionally, I feel like this song had a more genuine emotion in it than uh, most of Sunku's songs have ever had. There was more genuine lyrical emotion in this one B-side than there has been in the last 10 recent singles for Morning Musume. But this time, something came out so fluid about the entire thing that this was just overall a very pretty B-side. So this one is refreshing because, um, I mean, even though the lyrics are kind of cliche, there was something about these lyrics combined with this music and this vocal performance, which wasn't strong from everyone, but was good enough that it just was, it just struck me very hard as a very, a very pretty song. Even if I'm not a huge fan of sha la 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 I'll take it. I really enjoyed the harmonies that were going on in this particular song. I think that coupled with the instrumentals, which were very pretty and soft sounding, it wasn't too harsh or dramatic like Daite Hold Me was, it felt very contrasting, but it also felt very complimentary at the same time as far as the lyrics were concerned, because Daite Hold Me has this very sad feeling to it. In very many ways, these two songs were complimentary to each other. They were both very helpless. The unfortunate thing about Tatoeba is that the breakup has already happened and the girl wants to get him back, but she knows it's never going to happen again. It reminded me very strongly of um, a song called Heaven's Not Enough, which is from the uh, Wolf's Rain anime soundtrack. The singer on that is Steve Conte. And uh, they use some very similar instrumentations, which is this uh, synthy flute guitar sound. I don't know what actually makes that noise. But if you do know what I'm talking about, it was during the bridge, it was just like, it sounds like a flute combined with like a, a, a very muted electric guitar. If you know what that is, if I already said what it is, it's a flute, it's an electric guitar, it's a keyboard synth. Let me know, because I don't know and I want to know. Lyrically, this song very much reminded me of a more recent Hello Project song, and that came from Cute. That song is Kimi wa Jitensha Watashi wa Densha. De kitaku. There was just something about the lines of riding a bicycle and taking a train and seeing each other off that was very similar to the cute song and I can't help feel like Sunku drew inspiration from Tatoeba later on. Granted, train travel and bike transit are very common in Japan and are something that is very foreign to people here in America. So to use lyrics that rely on trains and bikes is something that would be very intelligent to use as a Japanese lyricist. Who really relies on trains and bicycles to guide him through his lyrics as far as when something dramatic happens. I feel like Sunku really tries to rely on trains especially, that something tragic usually happens at a train, that they see the lover off or the breakup happens or there's that last final kiss before the night ends. Something really big to kind of finish off the storytelling or to really tie a big bow around it. And I think that Sunku likes to rely on that. And I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. I think that it's a, a resounding feeling. It's a very mysterious and romantic kind of symbol in our culture, I think. So to use that as a lyricist, it not only resounds within the people in Japan, but as far as people in other countries, it may give those feelings of like romance and mystery and really give you stronger feelings towards the actual lyrics that you're reading. One of the most poignant lyrics Sunku has ever written, in my mind, was in this single, which was, I tried to stop time momentarily, like a scene from my favorite movie. 
but the two of us didn't stop. There was some kind of lyric in there at the very beginning about even if things were different, she wouldn't be able to take advantage of him again. And that really intrigued me as far as Sunko's lyrics are concerned, because he usually doesn't include things like that. There's not usually any aggression towards the male species from the girl in the story. Usually we see a lot of heartbreak and upset and anger, but we usually don't see a lot of like, I did this thing to you. Like, I feel like taking advantage of someone is a very harsh thing, and we usually don't see stuff like that in Sunku's lyrics. And so that was interesting to me, not in a bad way, but just interesting that that lyric was used, because it doesn't seem like something that Sunku usually includes, and so it just gave me this feeling that somebody else wrote the song for him. Another thing that was fun about the lyrics was um, the use of crepes. Did someone say crepes? I was very surprisingly impressed with the harmonies in this song because usually the early A side B side harmonies just kind of sound a little bit like I'm singing a harmony and I'm singing to you. This is the harmony and it doesn't go together. I'm singing a harmony. <laughs> Overall, as far as the vocals are concerned, I thought all the girls sounded really good. For once, the mixing was done really well, and for being this early on, someone was on their game when they did this song. And I'm appreciative for how many lines each girl got. There were lots of solos that I heard, lots of strong voices. It didn't seem like anybody was overshadowed by anybody else. There was no Abe and the Abet situation going on just yet. That will happen later on in the future, but for right now, I'm happy that the lyrics were kind of well divided among everyone and it seemed like everyone handled it well and that was good so great job Mori Musume early generations y'all did a good job but overall I really enjoyed this B-side which is very surprising to me and maybe it's just the mood I'm in but it was a good one so good on you Simku enjoy these compliments Jia showed me a version of this done by Abe Where's Ame? She's sweating on stage in a yellow dress this time of earrings singing a cover of this song. That's where Abe is. So now we are going to comment on the comments that we got two weeks ago on Handmade City. This first one is from Winnie Coco Flip. I like the music video. I think that the idea of Miki and I chant on top of buildings is cool. I also think it would be cool to do a throwback to um, the manpower because Yossi and Aichan were both um, the lead like screamers in that song and I think that it would be cool to do like some kind of throwback music video to that. Cool crack up, Miki was technically kicked out in a way that she was caught with a boyfriend or that she wasn't supposed to have and was kind of forced to resign. So I would say that was being kicked out, whether or not that's a technical name for it or not. That's kind of what happened. And all about the comments, if you look for Love Machine Sunku on here on YouTube, then you will find Sunku's version of Love Machine. You'll have no problems finding Sunku covers if you just type in the right keywords. So for this week, I'd like to ask you guys kind of my customary B-side question. Uh, if you could create a music video for this B-side, what would you do? And if you make it, rain is sobbing in the rain, you get an instant fail. So try to come up with something a little more creative. What about Abe sobbing in the rain? That could work. I actually feel like, given the time period, this would have looked a lot like a cross between what they ended up doing for Naichao Como and Kamo, Kamo and um, Fursato, actually. Really? Just like the girls walking, like maybe like with their bikes, train Tears. station. Namida, Bye. Namida, Namida. And I am going to ask you guys if you like Tatsueva or Daite Hold Me better. I'm pretty sure I already know what the answer is, but let me know what you think. So we will see you all again next week when we review another B-side, and I will see you all again next time. Jacob will see you eventually. Thank you so much for watching. So, <laughs> take your Ha! Cool. <laughs> Next on Utaban, we have Morningo Musume! Trollops. I'm not gonna let him bring me down. I'm being a good domestic housewife. I'm cleaning. I don't know this one. This must be another one of his wretched B sides.
Why does this sound familiar? Why does... Wait. I know it's late. Oh, I'm fine. How are you? That's great. Listen. No, I don't... No, I don't have a girlfriend, Mama. I don't really want to talk about that right now. Grandbabies. Oh, oh, grandbabies. Grandbaby. How about grandpuppies? Grandkitties? Grandbabies. All right, Mama. I'll get right to work on that. The whole girlfriend thing. Listen. Um. So, you know, I just started working for this Sunku fellow. Yes, Mama. I know you, you're a big fan of Sunku. Yes, I know you followed his music very closely in the 80s. Yes, his hair is very pretty. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll get you a signed picture. But listen, Mama, I'm not so sure about it. I mean, he's nice and all, and this morning Musume group is good, but I've only been here like three weeks, four weeks, and I'm just not sure I fit in. Okay, okay, I won't quit. I'll stay with Mr. Sunku. Yes, he's an extremely talented, sexy pop idol. I know. Yes, I will get that album of yours autographed. It's in my suitcase. I said it's in my. Sh it's on my shelf right there. I'm looking at it right now. I would never leave such a precious item just left in my suitcase. It's fine. Okay. Well, I gotta go to bed now because you are stressing me out with your screaming. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. I will find a girlfriend and get your goddamn Sunku autograph. Jesus Christ. Alright. I love you, Mama. Bye.